In my previous video I demonstrated how to attach the effect to the character and make it stay forever. In this video I want to show you how to add and remove it in the game. So let's begin. In this video I won't cover a whole process how to set up the effect and how to attach it to the character because that's already covered in my previous video so please watch it and I will link in description and in this one I just want to show some modifications we need to do to make this VFX addable and removable inside of the game. I just dropped two trigger devices and I have still same power-up device and uh, everything stays same as it was. So attachment to the center, no additional parameters changed here. It's just only now pick up it's not on the begin play, but when I'm just stand, uh, stepping on a one trigger and clearing it's when I'm stepping on another trigger. So it will add or remove in a game. So now inside of the V effect, what we need to change is this loop behavior and duration. And what I recommend always is just duplicate this node and you can experiment and if something won't work just delete and you can start again so just select this node control c control v and we have a copy and we can just disable this one just on ticking it so in this copy we're going to emitter state and we're changing loop behavior to infinite so instead of like only spawn once uh, we're doing infinite and loop duration, I will put like 0 0.5. You can experiment in your case. Maybe one second is fine. So this is half of the second. Then instead of the burst, burst is means it only does all together, all at once. But I will do spawn rate. I want it continuously spawning. I will set to 2. Now in initialize particle, I will set it to half of the second as well. And in particle state, I will kill particles. So by default, they are uh, set to killed particles, but previously I removed it and we had it on a burst once. So it spawns once and stays forever because we're not killing. And that's why you couldn't remove it with power up this device because it's not killable. But in our case, we want to remove it now so basically we will spawn them continuously and they will be killable and their lifetime it will be half of the second and as you can see like I set spawn rate to 2 but because the lifetime is so short here in the corner you can preview how many current this particles in our case now mesh as we see so total could be 2 but it's always 1 so don't worry there will be like no multiple and it will follow totally fine. And that, that's it. So this is all changes we needed to do just to make it work. So let's try now in a game. Okay, so in a game I've got two characters. So I'm, I'm playing from the Xbox on second one. And we see that on Xbox I've got backpack. So if I stand here I can remove it. Or I can get it. And it follows me properly. And same on PC. And it works. And it's removed. And actually in power up device there is a last parameter at uh, persistence on layer elimination. And it actually was broken and now it's fixed. So I when I will eliminate this player this V effect was disappearing but now look this character now uh, spawned with a backpack and I see it in the multiplayer so it's not just only visible for to you at uh, same time if I will remove here this backpack and again I will eliminate this player so it's obviously this backpack is not spawned together so it stays if it was there uh, before elimination 
and it's not there if player eliminated without the effect. So it's a simple few changes and it will work for you in a game. I hope this video is helpful to you. Please press that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get notifications about future videos. See you soon!